Hey, what's going on today, guys? Dan Hood here with Cut Right Lawn Care, and today we're talking about cordless power equipment. I've got the Echo 58 volt brushless series here. This was given to me by Echo for purposes of review as part of the UAG program. I think the big question when it comes to cordless equipment is commercial viability. Can I use cordless equipment in a commercial setting to replace my gas equipment? After using this equipment for the better part of this season in different applications in different areas, there's no simple answer to that question. What we've got here is an array of tools. We've got the chainsaw, we've got the hedge trimmers, we have the handheld blower, and we have the multi-attachment unit. This is similar to uh, Echo's PAS system. Uh, the Pro Attachment Series system, as you can see, it uh, you know it has the the connector here to put all kinds of different attachments on it. I've got the um, string trimmer attachment for it, as well as I've tried some of my other uh, PAS attachments on it. Different products perform differently in different applications. For instance, do I believe that the handheld blower is an excellent piece of equipment as far as especially a, a brushless battery powered piece of equipment and it's got a surprising amount of power and it has its useful applications even in a commercial setting is this going to replace your gas powered uh, handheld or especially your backpack blower no it is not okay the uh, the commercial viability of using a tool like this all day every day for commercial operations is just not there on this particular item. That doesn't mean that it's a bad tool. As a matter of fact, it's one of my favorite little uh, little tools to grab. If all I've got is a small lawn that we were doing and I just need to quickly blow the clippings off of a little bit of the driveway and, and the front sidewalk, this is way more convenient to grab than a backpack blower and having to start it and hoist it up onto your back. Um, you know, those kinds of things. Do I use it in a commercial application? Yes, I do. Could it replace my gas equipment? No, it's not going to do that. The hedge trimmers, uh, on the contrary, are one that I do find. I could use these commercially regularly, day in, day out. The battery life is extremely good on them. Uh, the maintenance, obviously, is very low. They're one of those tools that you don't use every single day. Typically, most of us have a couple of uh, seasons a year, you know, a couple of times throughout the season that these get heavier use than others. And uh, without having gas sitting in a carburetor and those kinds of things, there's less maintenance as far as when you're gonna let them sit for a period of time and that type of thing. These, I believe, do have an option to be commercially viable, partially due to their sporadic use. You know, it's not every single day, every single house that you'd be using those. String trimmer, electric, uh, cordless PAS unit deal here. This one's a little hit or miss. As far as being your all of the time, every single day, every single house uh, using this as your string trimmer, I don't see it as being commercially viable. The batteries run down too quickly, uh, unless you run on the low power speed, which in a lot of applications isn't enough. Uh, so you find yourself always running on the high power setting, and when you do that, the batteries tend to drain more quickly than uh, you know what I consider appropriate for an all day commercial use piece of equipment. I don't believe that this is going to replace your gas string trimmer anytime in the near future. The chainsaw, on the other hand, is a horse of a completely different color. I have several chainsaws at my disposal at any point in time, and I have found myself very surprised this year after receiving this and, and trying it out initially that this has become my go-to saw. Not only is it very convenient for the fact that I can put it in the toolbox of the truck, it can ride around, uh, there's very little to it, so it can sit there for long periods of time without giving me any kind of a fit. When I do have those quick little things that you need to do at a customer's house, cut a, a limb or you know something that fell in the yard, whatever you need to do, put it back in the truck and you move on. That part is great. But even when I have planned a job, for either commercial or personal use where I know that I'm going to be using a saw consistently on that job, this is still the one that I grab. 
I am beyond impressed with this particular tool. I haven't found any job that I would grab a 16 inch saw that this one has not done phenomenally. It's quieter, it's faster, it's very easy to, uh, to handle. It is deceiving at how quickly this will get a job done. This is one particular tool that for those of us in the lawn and landscape side of things, I believe could replace your gas powered chainsaw. Now, if you're an arborist by trade, um, if all your company does is tree service and you're cutting all day long, probably not for that level of commercial use. But for those of us doing lawn and landscape to pick up the occasional limb that fell in a yard or tree that fell down in a customer's yard that they ask us to cut up and haul off or um, if any of you guys do uh, you know maybe some firewood cutting for winter income anything like that i truly believe that this could replace your gas powered saws in many 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 cases it has for me all of these units came to me as kits with uh, batteries and chargers these all came with two amp batteries. Uh, the chainsaw came with a four amp hour battery. The chargers, which we have here, are uh, they're really pretty basic, but they do the job. Um, they charge very quickly. I know that with four batteries and four chargers, uh, you know, the idea would be that we'd never let uh, ourselves run completely out of charged batteries. But the truth of the matter is, we do. I do really like the charger as far as it charges very quickly and gets you right back into action. But again, it's not as quick as just refilling a fuel tank. Keep that in mind when you're looking for commercial viability. So as a whole, I would say no. Cordless equipment has not yet reached a point where it is a viable replacement to your gas powered equipment in a commercial setting, with some exceptions under the right circumstances. That being said, we have come a long way with battery powered, battery technology, the equipment that we can operate off of battery technology, and I don't see this going away anytime soon. In the meantime, for your commercial operations, I would say stick to your gas powered equipment and keep hustling.